Hello, in this video I wanted to share my experience on refurbishing the 09G transmission valve body of a 2006 Volkswagen Beetle, which I bought used for my daughter's first car. This transmission is used on several type of vehicles and since my work was successful I thought to share it with you all, hopefully someone can benefit from it. The car drove ok when cold for the first 15 to 20 minutes until the engine and transmission warmed up. Then the car experienced harsh shift on the 2nd, 3rd and 4th gear and shifted ok on the 5th, 6th gear and on reverse. The vehicle had only 120,000 miles on it when we bought it and when I fixed the valve body. I bought a manual for the 09G transmission and also bought VCDS software and hardware to connect to the car and to diagnose the problem. The transmission computer, also known as the TCM, never registered any fault. From my research, there could be several things that could lead to hard shift, including but not limited to faulty transmission valve body, faulty transmission valve body solenoid, other faulty transmission components, faulty TCM unit, or maybe bad transmission fluid, or wrong transmission fluid was used in case this happened after a fluid change. Also it could be faulty engine components such as throttle body, auto sensor, vacuum leak, etc. Since the engine needed some tune-up anyway as this was bought as a used car, I went ahead and changed the spark plug, took apart the throttle body and thoroughly cleaned it up, changed one of the auto sensor as it was reading little bit off, it cleaned the fuel injectors and changed the fuel, air and oil filters and changed the engine oil. The problem with the transmission hard shift remained but the engine was running perfectly. So the next thing was to try to fix the valve body, as it is easier than removing the transmission. Especially these transmissions are known for the valve body issue or problem with the solenoids. Before I removed the valve body from the vehicle, I bought a used one from eBay. The valve body that I bought, it was not tampered with. And it was 100% matching what was on the vehicle. I only paid about $60 shipped and thought to practice on it before working on the vehicle. I had to build tool to rebuild the linear solenoid and in my opinion the job was easy and worth the effort as the new valve body will cost $1200 and if the problem somewhere else in the transmission then that would be a big loss. First thing I did was to wash the engine compartment. Then I parked the vehicle on my driveway and lifted the front of it and used the level to make sure the car is level as my driveway is in incline. This gave me a lot, of, a lot of room to work underneath the transmission. I made sure to secure the vehicle to make it safe to work underneath it. I emptied the transmission fluid by removing the drain block. Then I removed the riser which is a tube that goes behind the drain plug for the fluid level. I used a 5mm allen wrench to unscrew it. This will cause most of the oil in the transmission oil pan to be drained. Next, I removed the oil pan, took a lot of picture to the wire harnesses and made label and laminated these labels so they will remain after getting wet with the transmission fluid. I used this label to identify the valve body bolts, connectors, so I can put them back the same way they came out to minimize the stress of guessing. Before removing all the bolts, I took note how the harnesses were ran and disconnected all of them. I also was very cautious to not drop the B1 accumulator piston and its spring or the shifter valve. Then removed all the bolts and valve body was out. I apologize for the audio quality of some of the following clips. I did all the work in my garage in the middle of the summer and I had a fan running in the background.
This first solenoid, uh, when I first opened it, it was kind of stick in. And uh, they say online to use four millimeter drill bit. I don't have any four millimeter, but this is a number 21. It's a standard drill bit. And it does, it did excellent job. It's actually uh, about one and a half thousand over four, four millimeter. So I clean the inside, clean the bushing, Real good. And then go all the way through. And the armature has a brass washer. You need to make sure you don't lose it. The inside over here. And now this. That's how it's supposed to work. I'm gonna clean the part and then we're gonna continue. To check the linear solenoids for proper resistance, I'm using an ohm meter across the two terminals. The manual shows the PWM linear solenoids should read from 4 ohms to 8 ohms. When comparing the PWM solenoids, resistance should be within half ohm of one another. I'm reading 5.8 ohms with intolerance. It should be open circuit to the body of the BWM solenoids. Now like I said, make sure the brass washer is inside and it's go like this. It's go like this. very free and this is the nose or actually this is the valve that's what this uh, armature actuate and it has several uh, springs and it's a clean to be clean there is a marking over here that should go to this marking on the plastic. There's marking right here. So 
just like this. Now you feel some spring pressure. Now oh, is the thick, thickest shim. And the case will stick out over here where it's supposed to be crimped. And then this part will go on top of it and crimp it in place. We're ready to press this in. Once again, I go with the big shim. It will stick out. And then I made this tool into two parts. The first one is kind of uh, has more slope to it and the other one to do the crimping uh, I just use an inch and a quarter drill bit to flare this part over here and this one over here I use the compound on the lathe to make it deeper I think this one over here is about 45 degree this one over here uh, I believe it's about 60 or 85 I, I'm not sure I'll double check on that And I'm gonna put these two springs on the top to press down and keep the snout, I think that's what they call it, as down as possible as I was push it in. Okay. That did the first part of the crimping it keep this in place but didn't push it all the way through and now we go with the flat part or semi flat part It's perfect, doesn't have any play. It's a cramp, look beautiful. And now we're gonna check it. Done. 